Hello guys, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to share to you on how to create electronic module um, using Kotobi Order. Before we proceed, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Now if you open your Kotobi Order, you have two options for your layout. One is reflowable layout and the second one is the fixed layout. Um, what I'm getting used to it is the reflowable layout. It's reflowing text, give excellent visibility on mobile with support for font size and adjustment. So let, at this point in time, we will be using reflowable layout. Just click on that and then it will give you this page. The first thing that you need to do is to fill in all the information on the upper left. So the book title, so the title of your module, let's say we're going to make module on the topic motion. All right, so just type in the word motion. Now on this edit cover image, there is a square um, with a pen, small square with a pen, just click on that for you to have a cover page for your module. So you click on that and then the, I already prepared a cover page. So just click the image and then click on open. All right, so there you go. So this is now the cover page for your module. Next thing is click on book manager. So below the book title, just click the book manager. So you can see there a dialog box will pop up. So you have the book title, which is um, motion. Author, let's say your name. You are the author for this module. And then the brief, uh, let's say description. So uh, say something about your module. So let's say this module is about motion. All right. So book title, author, and then description, and then click on OK. All right. So let's say in your module, you have three activities. So you can just change this one. So instead of chapter, use activity. Let's say activity one. Um, to add another activity, just click on this one, new chapter. Okay, this activity two and activity three. You can add as many activities as uh, if you want. So in the meantime, let's say um, we have only three activities for this module. Okay, so click on activity one for you to start activity one. Now you are now ready to, to type information about motion on this page. So let's say you type in motion, the title of your module, and you can actually customize it based on your own perception. So let's say, let's make it center align. Um, you can also change the font style. Let's say this is the font style. You can also change the size, just like in Microsoft Word. So let's make it 48. You can, you can also change the color. Let's say, let's make it green or blue. Um, you can also make it big if you want. All right, so in your module, you may also add a brief description about your motion. I actually have already in my Microsoft Word, uh, I lifted this information in the curriculum guide and some in the internet. So just don't forget to acknowledge uh, the author in your citations or references. So you can just paste it here, a brief description about motion, you can also uh, let's say those are information about motions. So I think that's enough. So um, let's have another one. So motion. Okay. You may also edit the description. Let's say let's make it justify. You can also change the font um, style if you want. Um, font size. You can also change that. Let's make it 28. You may also change uh, the color to make it more catchy. Um, let's say, let's use, let's say brown. Uh, this one, motion, the title, um, let's make it blue to make it unique. All right, so this is a brief description about motion. Um, you may also add objects if you want, because you know, students are fond of looking on the objects. So you can just add image on the upper right so just click on image on the upper right so click on that and then a dialog box will appear insert edit image just click on add image so you add image so i actually have already and the uh, image here that's 3d animated meaning to say it's gif or gif 
um, so that it's it's moving because it's just an, an uh, PNG or JPEG it's not moving but this one uh, this is GIF so that it's moving and students get more interested if the objects are actually moving so just click on that 3d animated and then click on open so if you click on open um, just click on create okay and there you go um, the good thing here is you can also resize the object if you want so something like that all right so that's beautiful it's um, catchy to the students so you may add as many object if you want all right so uh, um, let's uh, presume that you already done with your activity one um, to preview your output you may click on customize on the upper left all right so you have your edit and customize to check how it looks like so click on customize so as you can see there is a full so as you can see you have here full view mobile app uh, web so let's say the student is using let's say ipad mini all right and just click on mobile app so this is how it looks like when students download it in an ipad mini all right so this is how it looks like um, let's say the student is using let's say a huawei p20 so let's say the students has a huawei p20 so this is how it looks like in a cell phone using huawei p20 okay so that's how to preview you can just click here how it looks like with other devices all right so um, you may go back to edit if you want to add more information about your module so that's how to create module using Kotobi author that's very easy and um, you may explore the different options on Kotobi author and it's it's it is really helpful so in the meantime that's how to make module using um, Kotobi author and um, on the next video I'm gonna show you how to publish your module thank you so much and have a good day